Hello guys, today my husband is going to clean the pond and I'm going to show you that. So before that, I'm going to tour you around the garden. So this is our, our garden and my husband is there. You hear that uh, Hoover, the sound of the Hoover. This is how we clean it. See how much muck in there? Can I see? Well, you can only see water. Oh, yeah. Look. Ah. And then uh, dry it. Well, just so any little things in there, living micro things, can get out. Mm -hmm. Algae. Yeah, but there'd be lots of little living things in there. But Worms, insects. Yeah, there's loads of like uh, little worms. Larvae, and stuff. larvae. Yeah. Mm. So the pond also need the water. No, the water I'll put down the drain. Mm. Yeah. By the way, he you remove the filter, yeah. 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 Because it's of water. Good. Good. This Uber. can suction yeah good so this is the pond that uh, has now a lot of yellow flowers from uh, lotus or what you call that water lilies there's there are two varieties here one is big has a big leg or big legs and one little legs and the big leaves has start starting to flower this one so in a week time it will be bloom the irises are still there but try starting to fade but there is one here that is just flowering this one the purple one ah i see a cricket there are crickets in the there yeah, if you see like praying mantis in the thing and they lay eggs in the pond huh it's a good thing so now i am here in the apple tree my husband is cleaning the hoover um if you can see there are plastic bugs there i put it to protect from the 
uh, insects. Last year we had loads of apples and there's loads of the holes because of the insects. So to this time I uh, will see if this is going to work. I saw in other videos or in the Philippines they wrap the mangoes with the uh, newspapers or paper bags and also I've seen uh, uh, apple tree, apple fruit wrapped in this plastics. Look, I'll show you the close-up. So there are two apples here and I wrapped them in the bag and I made a hole underneath so that the moisture some of the moisture goes out look so it will not be there for always and it can also breed here through this gap look there is a gap there so we'll see this is only my experiment my husband said it doesn't look nice well it's nice to have a good fruit when you're planting something, you want to produce good things. So we'll see. It's only few anyway. Look. Yeah. Fish food. Oh, oh, there's oh. fish food somewhere. No, no not fish food. So this yeah, is Melbourne. one of the worm. <laughs> oh, it's like a leech. <laughs> yeah. Another one, another one here. Another one here, look. Hmm. Come on and put it in the pond. Yeah, all kind of insect in the pond. It's the biodiversity. It's called a fishy. Fish. fish food? Yeah, fish food eat it. Yeah. No the little feed, ones here, look. The food, the food. The fish eat them. And they want, and this insect <laughs> lay in there. Duck. Yeah. Duck. Little tiny ones. Mm. Oh, <laughs> I don't want, want to, to get, touch I them. I want to get them back in the They're pond. put in the water. I'm trying to, but mm. I can't pick them up. They're oh, squiggly. Yeah, no. there it is. Ah. Sure. Oh gosh. It's, it's wow. well, don't feel on me. <laughs> don't feel right. on me. Don't feel on me. Yes, yes. So the pond is cleaner now. Bring my type of you can Yeah. Yeah, so this is the apples that I wrapped. And also some of the apples I didn't wrap. Look. There are a few. And I'm going to see if which is better, wrapping or without wrap. So here you go. We are just trying things. See if oh, what's happened there? It's going to rot. Oh no, it's still good. It's the end of the apple that attached to the plastic. I thought it's going to rot, so hopefully it works. Hmm. So we have this uh, in this corner, the lilies, perfect lilies in bloom. But I don't have smell like the other ones. I have two varieties of lilies. One this, they flower before. And the other ones have a very, very nice scent. And this has always been here. Uh, last time it was only, there were only three bulbs or three like this. And now it's multiplied. Very nice, isn't it? The raised bed is looking good. I harvested the loads of strawberries here. And I plant carrot as well, the neighbor gave me. And beetroot. But the slug eat them. I put them in group, the beetroot. Yeah, and also I planted the uh, green peas here. Oh, this massive hydrangea has lots of flowers. Look at that. This is how the flower looks like. It, it won't open all. There will be like this, exactly like this, but they will turn into pink. And these little ones also will turn into pink. Uh, lovely, isn't it? Very big and bushy. So this one is the cherry tree. This one is the uh, 
one that the pigeon had attacked and starting to ripen look at that there are a, not a lot but there are some few the pigeon left for us i think next year i will also wrap with plastic i saw in uh, in china they put plastic from here to there so that the birds won't eat this eat it yeah it's all right there are few cherries left so that is enough but next year i'll try something look i cut the branches hmm. there you go onions and garlic together and my roses are in full bloom look at these roses i will fill this with roses Lavender was were here before and I put roses only. So this is Rose's garden. That look at this yellow one and that one. Yeah. It's very hot today. And uh, it's cloudy but it's warm. And you made yeah it's the fun behind me is a cherry tree with uh, loads of red cherries but this is, is the sour variety and uh, this is really good for jam making so there's not a lot there there's loads of flower there was loads of flowers but uh, some of them did not germinate or did not have fruit so whatever is left i'm going to make jam again like last year so i'm going to show you the red ones so this is not ripe yet it's only red but it's not really ripe when it turns darker like maroon color that is ready for harvesting so i'm making jam out of this i don't know why i think from the frost they uh when the frost cut when the cherry tree caught the frost they they die i mean the flowers no germination happen so those who are strong enough they germinate and then they produce fruit i think that's how it works but i cannot keep this in the greenhouse because they are going to go to grow bigger yeah and i'll show you the one apricot I saw in a, one of the TV show the reason why apricot and the peaches has did a, are not producing a lot of fruit here is because of the frost as well because they flower they flower early and the frost catch it and the the flowers catch frost and then the flowers will disappear but hopefully luckily there is one that was left behind look so hopefully i will have one apricot this year and i don't know what to do i'll just leave it let nature works yeah this is where i put the lavender they are flowering they have tiny small flowers already and in a week time they're going to bloom and also on the other side i'll show you here here is the lavender i put one rose there yeah i moved the lavenders last february and now look next year it will be good because they already uh, in the ground for quite long. It's just new, this one, only a few months. But uh, they flowered, so that's the main thing. So this, this, this is the other variety of uh, hydrangea. It's becoming bushy now and plenty of flowers too right 
so hydrangea like the sandy to loose soil and you uh, must feed them once in a while so yeah looking good they will turn into bright pink like this so these are my little plants um, tomorrow I'm going or today I'm going to plant them in the platters planters I bought this from the garden center looking good and these are the carnation look at that they are starting to grow I plant the whole carnation in one pot and then I put them in a little plugs yeah and I'll show you the tomatoes in the back here. Remember the little tomatoes I planted in here in the grow bag? Look at them now. It's massive. So every time there is a shoot like this, we take it off because that uh, to make the plant grow and have more fruits. Yeah. So that is the technique of growing tomatoes for yeah to have a a lot of healthy fruits ah look at that not bad isn't it this area has a full sunlight that's why the tomatoes is are growing nicely yeah like this little shoot need to take it off we call it pruning pruning yeah good Yeah, two varieties of tomato. One is beef and one is cherry tomatoes. So this is the hydrangea in the backyard. Look at that. Next year on the autumn, I will transplant them because it's very big now. It needs a big uh, a space because it's just in the little pot. And the other one is here green leaves but pink flowers look very nice and plants here in the basket growing and here as well this is campanula i like this i have transplanted a lot of this this one are from the mother plant and i'm going to transplant more oh. this is like a jungle now I'm going to cut this one day I let the this sunny circle flowered first All right this is the wall with pink flowers this is like fuchsia look oh. every time you deadhead it yeah look then they produce more flowers egg ah, this is a different kind of ladybird i have seen just it today huh? yellow color look at that oh oh come to me so my dahlia last year were here this area because of the cold and frost they died every dahlias i had died nothing nothing shoot so these roses are here so i will fill these roses in the autumn very good so thank you guys for watching bye